Bad Shaper 1000 here. Thought I'd do a little vlog for you today. Let's go and check the mail. Uh, monkeys at work, kind of. Ah, crap. Every time I turn the camera on. So anyway, she's technically at the ER, at the emergency room. Somebody hit the back of the truck again. She says she's got a headache, so her office told her to go to the emergency room and get checked out. So she just had a CAT scan done. That's going to take about an hour to find out anything. So she's in there waiting on her results. And then when she gets home, we'll make sure she's okay. And we'll check out the truck. She said the guy hit the trailer hitch. And she don't think there's any damage, but, you know, that trailer hitch bolts on between the bumper and the frame, so there could be damage under there. I don't know. We'll, we'll know when, when she gets here. Main thing is she's okay, so hopefully, you know, this doesn't have effect on, because she's still not quite well from that bad accident she had when somebody hit her. And then we got hit again together. That truck's been hit five times. It's been hit like, what, three times in the past three years. <laughs> so, well, four times. She had that one, that one woman hit her and took off. I did a video on that. We got hit. Yeah, we got hit, and then she just got hit again. So that's, you know, I mean... It's ridiculous, man. People need to watch what the hell they're doing, you know. Uh, I guess he was sighted, so I guess he didn't. He tells her, you know, oh, we don't need to call the police. She's like, no, we're calling the police, you know. There's another company vehicle, some kind of bug guy or something, so I don't know what them guys are doing, probably on their computers or their cell phones or whatever, but, you know, they need to pay attention. You know, put your damn phones down, stay off your computers, you know. If you got to take care of business, pull over. And, you know, here, he gets a ticket and gets to go back to work, and she's, you know, sitting at the emergency room when she should be working. That's ridiculous, man. So, um, I don't know. We'll just have to see when she gets here and make sure she's okay, and then we'll check the truck out. So, let's wait on her to get home. It'll be a little while yet, yeah, because she's still like an hour from the house, so. Oh, man. Crazy. Hey, right. hang tight, guys, and I'll kick you back on here in a minute for you guys when she gets home, so. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so Monkey's back. It's after midnight. But I guess she never even got out of the truck. But anyway, I'm checking everything here. I'm going to have to check it real good in the morning. Make sure that pin is not cracked. Make sure there's no cracks here. Um, but guess what? See this gap right here? Two finger gap. No finger gap. He got the damn bumper again. There's his white paint. There's some scratches. I'm sure the uh, bumper brackets are bent again. Because you can't just bend one side and not the other. Because when this gets pushed in this far, that means that gets stretched out. And right there, where the bumper hit the bed. And you guys know, well most of you know that it was all scratched up. This was a brand new bumper I just put on not too long ago. So, and it's right up against inside there. I'll show you better in the morning, but look at that. All right. So, yeah, she said the guy was like, well, we don't need to call the police. There's no damage. That's why, guys, you never, ever... If somebody says that to you, never ever say, okay, that'll be fine. Because, try to turn this light down a little bit. Because in this case, 
if she would have believed him, you know, there's probably a thousand dollars worth of damage there, believe it or not. It's no shit. So, I mean, it's going to need a bumper. It's going to need bumper brackets. Uh, it damaged the paint. So, I mean, don't ever listen to somebody. She's got the police report, and she's got a... I guess the police took pictures too, so... But I also have a video on YouTube where I just put that brand new bumper on there with brand new bumper brackets, so... You know... So I guess we'll be getting hold of attorney tomorrow. She's off for at least four days. Great. <laughs> I'm a little upset right now, so I'll talk to you guys in the morning. I'll be I'll be back with you then. Okay, it's the next day. I got Monkey here. She's going to tell her story here in a minute. But first, let's check this out. Since the daytime, I can't get up underneath because it's been storming all day and it's wet and muddy. But right here, right there. You can see it hit the cab, or the bed corner there, right there. And these scratches, there's white paint right here. It's all scratched up there. Hey, let's just get an idea of what we're looking at here. We're looking at, uh, what is that? can't see I can't that uh got a crack in it my tape measure's got a crack in it but let's go about center with the tail light like this so we can get an idea it's looking about like what is that 38 we'll call it 38 now let's go over here to this side about dead center of the tail light, and we're looking at an inch and an eighth. So, yeah. No, oh, man, there's no damage. Look at that. You can see here this line. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no damage, and right here kind of hard to see in this camera but a big ass dent there and the chrome is flaking off see that so see it real good like that so there's a dent there a dent there this right behind here is the uh, bumper bracket. See right there. Yeah. Sure. There's no damage there. <laughs> Alright. Time for monkey story. We can't go into too much detail because we do have a lawyer, don't we? Yeah. So. Alright. Time for monkey story. I got hit from the rear end again. Unbelievable. Yeah. So what was you doing? Just tell what happened. I was going to work and I was going to the next patient. I was in between patients. So I was going from one patient to the next patient. How close was you to your next patient? About a block. <laughs> yeah, a block. So what happened? So I was getting on to a main road from another road and I uh, was making a right hand turn waiting for the cars go by there was one car left and then I was gonna go and I was getting ready to go and he hit me from behind and went <laughs> right into the back of the truck Boom. yeah again okay so when when you had your that one bad accident who hit you Air conditioning company yeah sign cool I'll say the names I don't give a shit right my channel Right. And who hit you this time? An air conditioning company. <laughs> Munns. Yeah. M-U-N-N-S. Go figure. <laughs> what the Jesus. heck? I don't think they know how to drive, I guess. Well, before we got together, you said that drunk guy hit you. Remember? 
Yeah. A drunk guy bumped you. Yeah, yeah. And I did nothing. Then after we got together, yeah. the sun cool guy hit you. Yep. That's two. Mm -hmm. Then that woman hit you and took off. Yep. That's three. Mm -hmm. Then we got hit together. Yeah. That's four. Mm -hmm. And now this one. Now this one. That's five. Yep. Boy, can you imagine the Ugh. the Carfax sheet on this thing's got to be 30 miles long. <laughs> Jeez, this poor truck. So I got to I got to put another bumper on here. But she does have an attorney, so we can't say too much, but I can say, you know, what happened, and I can show you the damages. So, well, in this bumper, I did not polish it when I put it on here. Yeah. Which I should have, but anyway, you guys saw me do that, well, most of you did. Yeah. If you didn't, go check it out. Um, but, yeah, so... He hit you there, so I don't think he even touched that. No, that's what I thought I would he say, that. Right, but I would say he was coming this way, and when you turned, he seen he was too close, and he tried to go around you. I would say his right corner hit your left corner. Right. Okay? Now, I'm not a professional. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, I mean, that's safe to say. So what I need to do when we're not pulling the boat... Mm -hmm. I need to weld me up a big ass telling me. metal bumper with railroad spikes sticking out of it that just slides in here where this goes. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. And yeah. I'm about and then when they hit, hit it, then when they hit it. Yeah, now I'm out of work for a week. Yeah. Maybe so, longer. oh yeah. Uh, she's out of concussion. work for a week. So it wasn't a bug guy, it was an air conditioner company. Yeah. And she's out of work for a week again. So. Yeah. So I'd go to, to another today. doctor today and yeah but you know we can't talk too much about that but no. but we can tell you what happened that won't have any effect on anything we can show you the damage uh, he said oh man we don't have to call the cops there's no damage here yeah. really so apparently he probably told the cop that because the cop took pictures of this truck and not his vehicle so yeah and i was stuck with the ambulance people so I didn't even really talk to them too much. Right, but anyways, but yeah, he's got pictures. He wouldn't take pictures if there was no damage. I mean, you can clearly see that, even in the camera. And you can clearly see. So, anytime, like I said last night, anytime you push something in here, it's going to bend this in, and it's going to stretch this one out. So, that means new bumper brackets, too. I mean, you can see where it's scraped here. I mean, that's a gouge. So, I'm going to get some pictures of this tomorrow when it's a lot more light out. And then I can get underneath it and take pictures. But we'll have more on this later. So, anyway. Mm. Whoops. <laughs> so, Any anyway. Just keep going, I guess. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Mike and Sushi's out for now, y'all. Jeez, every time. <laughs> Shea Bear, admit the main lid. I'm gone for now, so just wanted to update you on this. Um, but the problem is, you know, she still got scar tissue and stuff from that first one. Yeah. And then she got hit again with us. Yeah. And now she's hit again. So... You know, there there could be there could be you know lingering problems you know from all these accidents. Yeah. So anyway, guys, there you go, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs> bye, guys. I'm behind the camera, and we'll see you soon. Bye, bye.